Good morning. It snowed. So this is the second time that the chickens have seen snow this year. Let's see how they react this time. Terrified. Terrified. Now let's see what the ducks do. I think they're excited. Also, here's our hose. We just keep it running so it doesn't freeze up. Okay, here we go. Here are the duckies. Okay, well, mi mixed uh, review. Look at these little footprints. <laughs> and we let, Frank just had surgery and he hasn't been allowed out by himself like off leash a lot. So he's really excited today too. Hey buddy, you checking the perimeter? He's checking the perimeter. Okay, and then we got the big one here. Let's see what they say. Woo! Good job, girls. You guys are, yeah, yeah, you guys can walk. Okay, so I went in, got some firewood. We got some firewood. I don't think we need much. It's not gonna be that cold today, but having a little bit makes a big difference. Um, it takes like the, uh, the dampness out. Ugh, so everything is uphill in this property, I tell you. So I'm gonna bring this in now and uh, get some coffee, get going. There's Katrina up there with the duckies, getting everyone ready for the day. So I'm gonna pull this guy in and then I'll see you in a little bit. So I was just having breakfast. Look how foggy it is, super foggy. And uh, I have some ducks that got out. So that's one of the things I need to work on is with our new run, there's a couple of kinks in the fence, so to speak, and uh, they're getting out. So I need to fix that today. So, uh, yeah, I got a bunch of duck out, ducks out. Yeah, let me show you. What's up, guys? Where's everyone else? Okay, Susan's over there. That's good. Okay. Let's get these ducks. <sighs> Be wild. Okay, I don't know how much you were able to see. So, if you haven't seen the chicken run, it's like a big kidney bean shape, kind of like crescent, a fat crescent or moon shape, you know? 
Um, and we basically went all the way around or around um, back almost behind the camera and then back again and then back again. Uh, and then I got the, the final two. We have uh, runner ducks and then we have like a bunch of different other types of ducks and the runner ducks, they're not very good at flying. So I really make a point to bring them around and put them in through the gate. But the other ducks, I usually will just put my hands over oops, like this and kind of, I can, I can flex the, the fence because it's just temporary. It's not very like um, taut and uh, just kind of open my hands and they'll jump out. And especially now with the snow, they just kind of fly and slide. So they, they, I think they enjoy it, but I know where they're getting out. I know how to fix it. We just have to do it now. So we'll get that done and uh, in a little bit. Back. So the ducks are out again. So I really need to make sure everything is tied up for the winter. So the first step is to take this hardware cloth cut in half so we get twice the amount. We only need the bottom covered. We don't need, uh, this is three feet, I believe. Yeah, 36 inches by 50 feet. So this will give us 100 feet of coverage now uh, and give us 18 inches uh, top, top to bottom. So that, that's more than enough than we need. Cut that in half and then we'll kind of twist tie it on with the metal wire. Yeah. This is the one we use for the fence right now, but we just kind of jerry-rigged up. It's quite a bit thinner uh, than the one I have right now. This is not ideal. This is way too thick for hardware cloth, but it's what I have. So I'm gonna try and like milk this for as long as I can. It doesn't need to be on there super strong. It just needs to be kind of held up. So maybe this will go quite a ways uh, and we'll just do one or two of these big ones. So they end up bending the hardware cloth more than anything. Got some tin snips, some beautiful tin snips that have been left out in the rain a couple times. Um, but I'm not gonna cut this. I've done that before and it takes forever and your hands just don't work for the next day or two. So I have an angle grinder here. Um, these things scare me. So I have uh, both my glasses here and the helmet with the visor. So I'm gonna wear everything I can and I'm gonna use that to cut. So. Um, I got this last year, this angle grinder last year, because it was on sale for like, I don't know, something ridiculous, like $12.99, 13 bucks. Um, and I haven't had an opportunity to use it yet. Now, here we go. So I don't know where 18 inches is, and I don't have a tape measure on me, so I'm just gonna use this. So we go top to bottom, boom. Cut it in half there, right there. So right around here, where we want. Just so I don't lose it, it's there now, you know? Okay, here we go, helmet time. And it's raining right now too, which is always great. Okay, now I got ear protection, face protection for the most part. I mean, not here, but I'll like, you know, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be good, I think, I hope. Okay, let's see if this works. Lock up. I don't know, they say I can lock it up, but I don't know what that means. Um, okay, well, let's try it. Okay, yeah, so that works. That works real well. This is my mobile workstation. <laughs> this does not seem safe. probably use a grinding cut wheel or something like that but this is what we have oh I thought we were on the wrong one oh that would have annoyed me oh what am I doing Oh. 
Oh, look at this. Oh, I feel like such a pro right now. I'm not, but I feel like one. This is where it starts to get a little dodgy. So it cut pretty well overall. Um, a couple like misses here and there, but I can just snip those with the tin snips, not a big deal. That'll really help. So I'm gonna try and do the same thing. I'm just gonna continue it. If I can. now is that the whole thing has kind of like shifted so you can't just like cut down like I did before Fortunately. Now we're finished. Oh. Hair flip. Okay. It, this, hel this helmet is so warm. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, cool. Okay, so here I am. I'm at the back of the coop. So there's the... Uh, front entrance there the house back there uh, got some onlookers um, this here is the main exit point as you can see so we're gonna start here and kind of work our way around I'm gonna have to move some stuff that we've used in the interim to kind of block it off and then put it back uh, and we'll go all the way around again and then meet back to this side here so hopefully we have enough We'll see a lot of this is temporary, so I don't want to be cutting a lot of uh, stuff anyways because we're going to be changing up the run in the spring, hopefully. So we'll get started there. So I have some fence staples because I know... Um, so this point here uh, where we're adding it, uh, that's going to stay. So that that's fine. That can stay how it is. That's no problem. It's uh, everywhere else where the T-posts are, they're going to change up next year. So... We're gonna just tie off there, but on the wooden post, we'll use some actual staples. So here we go, let's get going. Um, I hate this stuff, so the quicker we get it done, the better. Okay, so I have like a sharp side. This is the part we cut right here, like pokey. And then I have a smooth side. So I'm gonna put the, the pokey side down So I have these fence staples. Um, they're a little bit smaller than the other ones I've used before. So hopefully I can use those to kind of flatten everything, put it all together, because it's getting kind of loose at the bottom. Especially where the hose comes in at the bottom, it's quite loose down there. So hopefully we can kind of tighten things up. Okay, I think that's on pretty well. I have a couple more. I'm gonna just fix up the top here. I'm gonna fix up a little bit higher up here. This whole area was done really quick, like on a Sunday night, so a couple more wouldn't wouldn't hurt anything. 
serve it. Woo, okay, done. Look at this, watch. I even caught the hammer. I'm such a pro now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a loser. Okay, so we're gonna uh, drag this around all the way. Let's clean this up a little bit first, actually. Now, take out the tin snips. My thin wire here. a small piece because it doesn't, it doesn't need to be like super thick it's going around wire around wire for the most part for a lot of it so pull it tight and see Okay, fantastic. Pulled it all the way down there. Hi, ladies. How we doing? So I quite like that kind of weaving idea. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm gonna use the thicker stuff that we have here. Because I don't like it. I'm trying to just weave it a little bit along where it's gonna be, I know it's gonna be wobbly here from like the two fences I've built. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, you know, deal with it now. Make it a little bit nicer to look at. Sorry about that. Uh, so it's twisted, twisted here. That's the problem. So, okay, okay, that's actually not so bad. That could be way worse. There we go. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, you're missing all the fun over here. I got all the way over to the pole. Sorry, I'm terrible. I'm, I'm still working at this, okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Okay, like I'm still learning how to do this well. Whoa, not fall down the hills. But that looks okay. We have that little mess up there, but then it's getting pretty flat. These turns are a real bugger. Okay, let me get some more wire. Get everything set up for around this bend here. Oh, my lower back is just like on fire oh okay so it's like it's not super like it's gonna be tighter in a minute when it's just pull again but it, it doesn't have to be super tight it's just kind of woven in there so the top of the fence doesn't fall out okay and then i'm just working on tightening up this right here okay i'm back so here's the deal I was recording this and I realized this is painfully boring. So let me just show you what I did. I'm not sure how much I'll show you beforehand, but uh, you know, the intro and everything, but uh, it's all finished here. So I did the sides, they're loosely put in. We have to do the logs still, but it goes all the way uh, down to the end there. So then I'll start on the other edge and come around this way because this seems like the other trouble area. The back area is gonna be left, I guess, without the, the hardware cloth for now. Uh, maybe we'll get some 
later when I have some more money for it. $150 for that roll that I cut up today. So it's not cheap, but uh, we have the main like problem areas covered now. So I think we'll be fine, but we'll see. So I'm going to go, I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably go do the other side now. It's a little bit easier to get to as well. And uh, I'll do the other side and then I'll start carrying up logs to block everything off around here. This is a little harder because it's behind everything and I haven't cut down a lot of trees. Maybe I should cut down some trees back here so that I have logs. Bingo, reason to use my chainsaw. Okay, that's a great idea. That's what we'll do after lunch. Cut down trees and place them around the fence so that the uh, ducks and chickens are safe and sound this winter. Fantastic, okay. Now, do we have lunch now or do we the other side? We'll see, we'll see. I'm kind of hungry. Hello, okay, so before we finish the video, I want to say that I had to interject future Brad's here with a longer beard. Um, earlier Brad didn't get to finish the fence. He ended up doing other things. But before we get into that, I just want to give you a quick kind of tour of what we did end up doing with the fence um, that worked really well all winter. Okay, everybody. Hello, it's been uh, maybe two months now since we shot that video. And I want to show you what we ended up doing. Uh, we didn't get more hardware cloth. We ended up getting these uh, firewood tarps from Princess Auto. And I think they're like, we got them on sale for like $4 each. And we ended up lining the run. I see everything's melted now. The snow is coming, it's gone, and it's almost completely gone, I guess, as you can tell. But we ended up doing hardware cloth at the bottom and then lining the rest with these tarps. We ended up doing a large green tarp as well. <clears throat> Don't mind the plywood. But we did these tarps all the way around because it stopped things from getting in and out. Um, and it also stopped the wind, which was a, always a large issue. Yeah. So they're very pleased. We've decided this year we're going to expand the run again. So every year they seem to be getting more. We're bringing it all the way down here. So we're gonna clear all this out for them coming up. So, wow, change of plans. I totally forgot. I had to go get hay today. So picked up hay. We use hay to um, put underneath the coop, keep it dry, let them somewhere, you know, where the chickens can hang out. We do it in the run as well. So we have a whole bunch of hay now. We're good for oof, at least a couple of weeks. Probably like two months, maybe. Uh, it depends how much it snows and how much it, uh, you know, ebbs and flows. So, but I only have about 45 minutes till sunset. Uh, I got the first half of the fence done. I want to see if we lose anyone else tomorrow if they come out uh, before I do the front half because it may not be needed and maybe just the wooden uh, post would be fine. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to call it quits there tonight. I am a tired boy and I need a nap. So, um, we're going to, you know, end it there for today and I will see you beautiful people tomorrow.